Hello again ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video um, You probably think I'm a glutton for punishment but I'm going to do this I'm uh, going to uh, strip this down as you're probably all aware uh, This is a RAW AMI amplifier It's, uh, it's a model R4359A stereo amplifier uh, as you can see it has an output transformer missing because it was bought as a donor uh, unit so basically what I'm going to do <coughs> pardon me what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to gut this chassis completely everything on this chassis except for the power supply is coming off because even though, the, even though this is a 110 transformer I'm going to use it uh, even though uh, you know, it amazes me why the Americans have to be so different on things like that. Anyway, this is going to be the ba this is going to be the basis for my uh, amplifier that I'm going to build. I'm going to build a replica of the Mullard uh, 5-10 10, uh, 10 watt amplifier. I'm going to build it on this chassis. Uh, so, so, some might say, well, why not just get another transformer, refurbish this amplifier? Yeah, I could do that. But a couple of factors that are stopping me doing that is it runs to about 100 quid for all these valves. I've got the EWC83s, rectifier is only 13 quid, so that's not a big issue. But uh, it's nearly a hundred. It's about about well, it's actually the cheapest I can get them. I can get them forty pound a valve. So it's it's like eighty quid for these four valves. So and then you know there's all the refurb work. I've got to undo years of uh, botched repairs because there is a few botched repairs on this. You know, it's like you've got these you've got these two resistors here uh, floating away in the wind there in the breeze. Look at that. You know that that's a botch job. There's a few other botch jobs. Uh, so all this is coming out, believe it or not. All this is coming out, but it's just going to get chopped out. I'm leaving the power supply. I'm leaving the transformer in, and I'm going to leave that. I'm going to be careful. I'm going to leave that connected. Uh, and uh, when I say amplifier. What I really mean, when I say I'm going to build an amplifier, what I really mean is I'm going to do two. I'm going to do them both on this chassis, so that I have a stereo amplifier. Uh, I'm not just building one mullard on here. I'm going to build. Uh, I'm going to build. I'm going to, I'm going to build both onto it, and uh, this socket here, where this socket here is, that hole is just nice for the EF86 valve. I can move this or failing that I could put the other here I could put I could put the other one here yeah that'd be better yeah I could get a hole into the chassis here because there's nothing here well and true that well and truly sorry but uh, pardon my camera work I'm not the best uh, I'll get another valve here another EF86 here and so we'll have EF86, EF86, uh, EWC83, or for the Americans, 12AX7, and EL84 here and here. So we'll have, uh, we're going to be having four valves. Shut up! We're going to be having four valves per channel, which make up the Mullard amplifier. Uh, the power supply. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll deal with the power supply as and when I need to but I've just been looking on the net on eBay on the net and I've found that you can actually buy a step down transformer to step it down to 120 or 110 or whatever it is whatever the weedy American voltage which, which will take which will take that plug but I'll probably have to order a new one of them plugs in because this leads a bit crusty so I'm probably going to change this lead so I'll have to order another one of these plugs in so I'll be putting probably putting a new lead on it anyway. So uh, and 
I need to check whether the mullard uses an earth lead. I've got all the paperwork on the mullard and he will need to find out whether it's earthed or not. Uh, the version I'm making will be earthed, but uh, yeah, you have to be careful how you earth them, I believe. So, uh, if it's a live chassis, which I don't think the mullard is, uh, it's not a live, it's not it's not a live chassis that amp. Pretty certain of that. But uh, I'll read the literature first. I've downloaded all the literature, the plans, the circuit, the lot. So I'm going to get cracking now. I'm going to get cracking now, folks. I'm going to get this boned, and I'll make another quick video once it's boned. I shall catch you later. Bye for now. Hello again, guys and dolls. Right, uh, we're back on the uh, the strip down uh, of the uh, row am row am I amplifier. Right. Uh, try and make my camera work a bit more consistent, consistent this time. Um, right, these tab strips here are going. These what used to be the 70 volt lines are going to be used for the speakers. Got one here, one here. Uh, the input inputs are going to be going here and here, which is where they are. EWC83s, they'll be staying where they've always been. These sockets here will be coming out and they'll be getting replaced with EL, uh, EL84 valves and here is where I'm going to mount the EF80s, uh, EF86s sorry and these capacitors will be replaced, I'm not doing anything with that yet the transformer I'm still going to use as I've already said in the first portion uh, that handle there will be getting lopped off, well I'll drill it off um, might take this back plate off here, yeah, I'm not sure. And now let's have a look under the chassis. Uh, it's a lot easier to move around now. I haven't got them heavy transformers on it. Oops, there we go. Right, we're under the chassis. It's, it's quite, quite clean under there now. All this side's all been done. Uh, I've not clipped anything out of here yet, there's a lot of disc capacitors and stuff that's got to be clipped out of here, most of this wiring's got to be clipped out, uh, but I want to be careful I don't clip anything and get it wrong and end up clipping the heater wires too short, so I've got to be careful with what I start clipping. Um, these sockets have all been taken out, this one here might get replaced because it's uh, pre-amplifier power socket so if I decide that I'm going to make a build a complementary preamp um, I can use that I've got the socket for it I can put bung that back in and wire that back up no problem whatsoever with that these sockets here have all been taken off volume control sockets been taken off don't need that because uh, I'll be running it with a preamp whether I build a solid state one or a valve one I'll be running it with a preamp so I won't need a volume control the mullard circuit is optional, uh, whether you have tone controls, volume controls, you don't have to have them. I'm not having them, uh, because I don't need them, so I'm not having them. I've got other plans. And uh, I'm going to move, the, re the reason why I'm taking these tag boards off here is because I'm going to move the transformers slightly back. Uh, so the, as I've already said, the EF86s can occupy this space here, right behind the EL84s. I've got, uh, I've got most of the stuff to actually do this. Uh, I've just got to all the capacitors. The EL84s I've got, I've got about ten of them. And uh, if there's a couple of badens, as long as I've only got, don't go over two badens, three at the most, I should have a full set. Could really do with a valve tester for testing them. Uh, this little reset button here, two amp reset button, I'll probably leave that. I need to see what fuse the uh, the Mullard circuit uses. I've not looked at the circuit closely yet, but if it's two amp, then I'll leave that in. Um, the uh, rectifier, that's one I've not seen before. That's that's an IN. 
Hang on, uh, I can't see, I've got my glasses. Uh, let's try and see and get a look at it. Oh, here we are. Two, three, nine, summer. I can't make out, I've got my glasses, folks. Uh, I'm doing this without my glasses on, and really. Um, hang on, I've just got a pair here. Just, excuse the wavy camera work for a minute. I need to get a tripod as well because I'm looking at it upside down, but it's an IN2389. So I'll be looking for an equivalent for that because I've never heard of that one. I dare say you can get them, but there will be an equivalent. I'll have to check all that out. Uh, if not, just reconfigure the power supply to use another valve. But uh, the original Mullard circuit calls for an EZ81. But I have my doubts as to whether an EZ81 will be able to drive all this lot. So that's why I'm going for the bigger valve, a uh, bigger rectifier valve. Because I have my doubts it will be able to drive all this lot. Because we're looking at what? Six. Eight valves. We're looking at eight valves, uh, four valves per channel, and it's designed to drive the the original circuit power supply circuit is designed to drive four valves, not eight. So I'm doubling up on everything. So uh, bigger rectifier is definitely the order of the day on that one. Um, yeah, because we don't want to. I don't want to get it built and then start having rectifier issues. So yeah bigger rectifier. I'm not going solid state on the rectifier. I thought about it and I thought long and hard. All of about 10 seconds long and hard. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna bother with solid state. Um, because I want to build this as traditional as possible and I want to stay faithful to Mullard's plans as, uh, as much as possible with the exception I'm not building mono blocks. Uh, because I'm building a stereo amp but circuit wise I want to try and stay within the specification of their prototype which is the plan that I've got which the prototype is the plans I've got uh, they're the plans I've got so they're what I'm going to be going off and uh, we'll see how it sounds when it's built I will keep you up to date as much as I can uh, these two sockets here four sockets here coming out rather so I think I've already stated that uh, I want to try and source some capacitors uh, some original capacitors that are like this uh, if not then I'm just going to have to restuff these but one of these has got three in it and it doesn't need three because the third one powers this socket to go off and power the preamp so I only need two capacitors so I might be able to get two I might be able to restuff these with just well there's one in this one and there's two in this one so I might be able to uh sorry there's three in this one but I'll only need I'll only need I'll probably only need the two we might not even need two because I've not looked at the capacitors that are in the Mullard uh, circuit yet uh, I haven't looked at how Mullard have done it I've had a brief look but uh, not a proper you know I've had a superficial look I think it's called but not a fuller look so anyway I'm going to leave it there for now I'm going to get this off the camera and onto the phone uh, onto the phone onto the computer and I'll uh, join them all together when I've uh, when I'm uh, ready to work on the uh, valve sockets I've got to get them ordered yet because I haven't got any valve sockets so there's something I'm going to have to buy in uh, but uh, We'll see how it goes, and uh, yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I, I can't wait to give you the next thrilling instalment. Bye for now, folks.